Okay, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for clicking the little bell. Welcome to another episode of What Happened This Weekend. Now, I'm telling you, I have it right here. I can kind of see it, but not yet. We're going to have a theme song. I don't know if we're going to do a little dance. We should probably do a little dance like, yeah, what happened this weekend? Oh, yeah, something happened this weekend. Something. I don't know. I don't know. Got to stay creative. Got to gotta have the juices flowing. But nothing really happened. <laughs> Nothing really happened this weekend. Basically, the only thing that happened is Halloween ends. That's it. And I have to tell you, and I'm just going to tell you the truth. I didn't watch it. After hearing everybody's reviews, after hearing what they did to Michael Myers, I didn't bother watching it. I read everybody's reviews. I saw all the tweets. They were contradicting themselves. I saw all the people in the mainstream media talking about how great it was, how amazing it was, and all this kind of shit. And when those people say that something is amazing when they say, oh, I loved it personally, personally, because <laughs> pers that's what they do. They always put that in their stupid fucking tweets and in their posts. They always say, well, you know, that movie, it, it wasn't like for fans. The fans didn't get what they wanted, but I liked it. But I liked it personally. I did. I liked it. Well, nobody fucking cares if you liked it. <sighs> and that's why. That's why the movie sucked, because it was for them. It was for the Instagram influencers. It was for the blue check Twitter. And why was it for them? Because you and I, normal fans of the franchise, we don't have 2 million followers. When they made Halloween Ends, they didn't make it for you and I. They made it for the people that have 2 million followers, 100,000 subscribers. They made it for the people that are going to be in the spotlight. And how do you get positive reviews from the people in the spotlight? You pay them. You don't have to worry about making a good product. You just tell all the people on social media, hey, hey, how many followers you got? Oh, I got like, um, like 2 million, I think. Okay, look, here's $75. Just give us a good review. And that's all they got to do. That's basically it. Okay, next, from Us Weekly. Doubling down, Kanye West repeated his claims about a Kris Jenner and Drake hookup during a three-hour interview. Now, I, I remember this, okay? And the next photo that I'm about to show you, I remember this. And when I read this story, I was like, wait, isn't there a photo of, of Drake and Kris Jenner, like, hugging? Bro, look at that photo. Bro, look at that photo, bro. You're going to tell me from that photo, he didn't hit. <laughs> You're going to tell me, looking at that photo right there, that he didn't hit. Uh, from discussing film, Ezra Miller has played, pled not guilty to the two counts of felony burglary. If convicted, they could face a maximum sentence of up to 26 years in prison and $2,000 in fine. $2,000 in fines. I'm going to try and not say anything too outlandish here, but bro, you're fucked. If this goes down... This Messiah, the remember what he called himself? That he was like a, he thought he was like Jesus, and he wanted Susan Sarandon to go pray at his altar. Bro, you get convicted of that shit, you're gone, bro. Twenty six years, you're done. Now I know, granted, he's a star. He's got some serious paper, okay. And then not to mention, he's probably got WB at his back, and they're gonna give him everything. The most high priced attorneys. They're probably gonna try and slip a little paper underneath the table to the court or some kind of shit. Something's gonna go down. He's, he's, he's not gonna go away. Okay, I'm just gonna say my prediction. He's not gonna get conv. He might get convicted. You know, convicted, like for public purposes to say, yeah, he got convicted. But you're gonna see if he does get convicted, if. That's a very big if. If he does get convicted, they're going to give him some kind of lenient ass sentence or he's not going to be convicted at all. You know, and all of that will be because of Warner Brothers. I mean, the guy's got Warner Brothers behind him. They're really trying. And we've we've read the story before about Ezra Miller and The Flash and how they put two hundred million dollars, two hundred million dollars they put behind that movie. So if you think that they're not going to try and keep this person out of jail and out of prison, much less out of the news, okay, because you can't exactly just keep this out of the news. It's, it's public, okay, because he's doing, he's pleading not guilty. 
From Daily Mail Celebrity, Olivia Wilde leads star-studded arrivals in daring see-through see-through gown at Academy Museum Gala. Bro, and this is one of the things that's very telling about a woman like this. Amber Heard does the same thing. She could never have a time where her tits weren't out, where her nipples weren't showing. She was even at the, uh, the premiere of Aquaman with Jason Momoa. She had her nipples showing. It's Aquaman. That's a child's movie. So there was definitely children there. But then again, can I ask, honestly, can I ask you a question? Have you ever noticed that it's always these celebrities that have no boobs? Like like me as a man, I will put a C cup. We're, we're the actresses with C cups. Why don't they come out with no bra on? Because <laughs> those are some massive honkers. That's why, dude. You're not going to see a C cup or a D cup coming out to a fucking Met Gala or what, what is it called? Academy Museum Gala, not the Met Gala. You're not going to see them with their honkers out and then and the big old pepperoni nipples or something. And they have them out through a dress that you can see. No, it's always... The little itty bitty titty committed women, then they got the little tiny A cups. And, you know, I've dated a girl like that, you know, when she wear, when they wear the bra, like there's all this space in between and it's like, and then you look over and you look down at their cleavage and you're like, babe, where's your boobs at? <laughs> like, you're just playing. Like, it's just a joke. And then they get all mad. Oh, don't talk about my boobs. Like, you have bigger boobs than me. And I'd be like, oh, I know. <laughs> But, you know, it's fun. Like, you just joke around. But I'm serious. I'm serious. Like, I, I've never understood this about Amber Heard and about her. Like, why do they want their tits out all the time? What's the deal? Like, I, I get it that you want to be like, oh, I'm strong. and We're independent women and we can just have our tits out whenever. Hey, man, I'm not complaining. You showed me your nipples. <laughs> I don't have to worry about what they look like anymore in my mind. I don't have to. Now I can see them. They're right there in front of everybody. And I think that, what was that movie called? with Ryan Reynolds and uh, Jason Bateman. And in the movie, um, I do believe that's true, in the movie where where she was making out with Ryan Reynolds and he was supposed to, like, fake take off her bra, she used a double? Like, she didn't want her tits in the movie? Well, you got your tits out. Okay, Justin, Kanye West, to acquire social network parlor. Now, I know you probably never heard of parlor. It's supposed to be like another Twitter, but it was supposed to be just for people on the right, like conservatives and Republicans. And they wanted to create it, but then it got taken down because all the people from the, the mainstream, they attacked it like through Amazon. Um, what is that called? AWS or the cloud or something that a, the Amazon has a cloud that they use. And they attacked Parler and Parler was like taken down. It, it's still there, but it's like it, it doesn't really matter. So I know what he's trying to do. He's going to do what Trump tried to do. And Trump created one that's called Truth Social. And that one as well, it's live right now. Nobody knows about it because only the people that are conservatives and only the people that are Republican know about it because you can go over there and say whatever you want. And I think there's another one. I forgot what the other one is called. But they're all basically like that where it's just Republicans over there. And when I was into politics, I was on them. Like I was on all of them. You know, but it's so boring because we've talked about that before when you have an echo chamber and you're just speaking and everybody just agrees with you. That's basically what it is. It's exactly like Twitter, the way that Twitter is for everybody that are liberal. Twitter is like that and Parler and what was the other one? It was called something. I don't remember. Um, and Parler is like that and then Truth Social is like that as well where it's just all Republicans and they're all talking about the Republican shit and then on, I believe like on Truth Social, dude, you can't even criticize Trump. You can't even talk shit about him. You'll literally get kicked off the platform. You know, so that I remember when I heard that, that was like on my way out of politics. When I heard that, that you could be on a social media site and then you couldn't criticize someone because you'll get kicked off. Well, how the fuck are you any different than Twitter? You're not. Okay, from the New York Post. I let my mom and sister sleep with my husband. Okay. Well, swinger life? I thought swinging was like when you get two couples and then like the husband bangs his wife and he bangs the other wife. Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. That sounds like a good deal. You get to bang a chick and her mom. And if you look, they're both pretty hot. So, hey, good good job for that guy. That sounds like a W for him and an L for swingers. Okay, my boyfriend broke up with me in the car and his daughter in the back seat gonna go yes. Now, 
I think it's very important. You have to understand, kids know. Okay, kids know. Not kidding, a group of men just watched me park my car from their porch, and when I got out, one yelled, how did you get your driver's license? Okay, that's going to be about it for today. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for staying with me this long. We will catch you next time.